In this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly clean and lubricate your Springfield Hellcat pistol. I will be using the Hellcat Pro, but you can use any pistol in the Hellcat series lineup and the process will be the exact same way. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing we have to do is go ahead and take this apart. So we're gonna go ahead and drop the magazine if you have one in there by hitting that magazine release button. Then we're gonna Check the chamber by pulling the slide back, make sure it is empty so the gun is unloaded. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and lock this slide to the rear and we're gonna, just like that, you just pull that tab up right there. And then this lever right here, we're gonna rotate 90 degrees upward. And at this point, we're gonna go ahead and pull the slide back a little bit and relieve the pressure of the spring and let it come forward. And then once it gets to about right there, you're gonna pull the trigger and then the slide will come off the rest of the way. So this is as far down as you need for the frame and then for the slide, you just have to take your recoil spring out. You just push in slightly and pull up. And then we can take the barrel out, just grab that up and out. And that's about as far down as we have to take it for our cleaning. Now I'm gonna be using the products that I personally like the best, but there's so many different ones out there. So just use whatever you guys prefer. One thing I do recommend is this tech mat or something similar. That way it protects not only the surface that you're working on, but also keeps your gun from getting scratched up, stuff like that. So the cool thing about these tech mats is you can spray all this gun cleaner on it and it won't leak through. So if you are doing this on your dining room table, your wife will thank you for that. And then for the cleaner, I'm gonna be using this Ballastol and then I got some different types of lubricators. And then as far as patches go, I just got some regular patches from Hoppies 9. You can use paper towels or whatever. And then I'll show you some other tools and stuff that I use. I'll have everything linked in the description below so you can check that out on anything uh, I use here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this ballastol and I'm just gonna spray down the barrel, both on the outside and then on the inside as well. And then I'm gonna let that kind of sit and soak and then that way it can break down any buildup in there. And then I'm gonna take some of these patches, wet these down, and then I'm gonna take the slide and then just wipe it down with that wet cloth. Just like that. And then depending on how dirty your gun is, um, you could keep doing that with the wet cloths. If there is a lot of buildup in there, you can take some of these brushes and then you can also just kind of brush out a lot of that material. You can use an old toothbrush if you want to, but these are super cheap to pick up. And then just go ahead and that'll break everything up in the slide. So once that's good, you could take another dry cloth and then just start wiping out a lot of that gunk. You can see my gun is, is actually brand new, so it's not very dirty. But you can get your gun as clean as you want it. Some people don't really care if it's completely clean, but um, I personally like mine to where I'm not getting any black residue off of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the slide down with another wet cloth here. You just wanna wipe down any areas, especially if you see any gunk in there and just get it all nice and clean. And then I'm gonna take another Dry patch here, and then I'm just gonna start wiping out all that excess gun cleaner. And then if you're having trouble getting into some of the areas, they have these picks that you can pick up for pretty cheap, and they're awesome for getting into tight areas. So what I'll use to get, especially in where the slide rails go and everything, is I'll take the pick and the patch and just use the pick to get in some of these crevices and everything where it's hard to get with your fingers makes it a little bit easier to get in those hard to get areas. And just keep running some dry cloths through here until I get it pretty clean. And then if the outside of your slide is dirty as well, you can wipe that down. I usually like using a shop towel just to get some of that excess gun cleaner off of there. So that's pretty good for this gun. Obviously, like I said, it's brand new, so not too dirty, but just keep doing that same process with your gun until you get it as clean as you want to for the slide. Now for the recoil spring, there's not much you have to do to that. You can wipe it down if there's any sort of residue or anything on that, but typically you don't have to clean that recoil spring. And then coming back to the barrel, 
What I'll do is I'll kind of wipe down the outside, remove a lot of that cleaner that's on the outside of it that we sprayed on there. Now there's a few different ways that you can clean the inside of the barrel. They make those rods. Um, I have one that came with a Glock pistol. That's pretty nice because it's not as long as the ones that come in the kits. So you can use this and you can also use a brush attachment to get a lot of that residue off of there. So you can actually just put this on here like that and then just run it through however many times you want to. And it'll help get some of that buildup on there. And then you'll just take some of these patches thread it through here, and then you'll just run them through the barrel like that, and then just keep doing that until they come out clean. And that's an okay process, it takes a little bit longer, but what I personally like to use are these boar snakes. You can get them in pretty much every caliber, and they make them super easy to clean the barrel in a lot less time. They're really handy on long guns. So basically you just take it and go through like that and then you'll just pull it through. You'll see it does have brushes on the end here so that helps get rid of some of the buildup in there and then the rest of it will just get that gunk out of there. If it's really dirty and wet, just kind of wipe down the boar snake if you need to and then just run it through. Usually I don't need to do it more than twice um, so you could just keep running it through as many times as you need to and then just check the inside of the barrel, make sure everything is out, which this is. It looks pretty good. And then if you're not going to be shooting for a while, if you're going to be putting this in storage or something like that, and it's not going to be touched for a while, then you can actually take a patch and lightly coat it with some of the gun cleaner or lubricant that you're using, and then take the rod and actually run that through the barrel to get a nice light coating on the inside of it, just to help prevent any rust or anything. You don't want too much, um, just a light coating will be just fine, but that's not necessary. But that's one thing I like to do if I know I'm not gonna be shooting that gun for an extended period of time. Now moving on to the frame, this shouldn't be too bad either. I'm just gonna take a patch here, wet it down, and then I'm just going to kinda coat down all these everywhere I can. Kinda get it nice and coated. You can get inside the magazine. Sometimes um, inside the grip here where the magazine goes, it does get a little dirty, so you can run a patch through there and then just wipe it down. And then once you do that, then just go through with your dry patches and kind of wipe all that gun cleaner off until everything is clean and dry. And again, if there's any hard to get areas, go ahead and use a pick or something if you have, you know, even if you have like a toothpick or something, something will help um, get into those hard to get areas. And again, I'll just kind of use it for around here. And that should be good. And then I'll take another clean paper towel and then I'll just wipe the outside of the gun here. Get any of that excess um, oil and stuff off. All right, should be good to go. So as far as cleaning, that's pretty much the basics of it. Like I said, you can go as clean as you want on it. If you just wanna do a quick wipe down, that's fine if you're planning on shooting it pretty quick. But like I said, I like to get mine pretty clean to where I'm not getting a lot of um, dirt coming off of these patches. So just run those through until you get everything as clean as you want it. Now, as far as lubrication goes, this doesn't take a whole lot. Um, what I like to use is these precision lubricators. Um, I'll have a link to this down in the description below, but it's from Hoppies 9. I think there's a couple other companies that make this as well, but it makes it easy getting into some of the tight areas. Um, I do like Ballastoff for lubrication as well, um, but I think this one does have the Hoppies 9 in there, but you can use this Ballastoff because it is a cleaner and lubricator, or if you have the Hoppies 9 regular bottle, you can use that as well. So first thing, we'll start with the slide. So really, you just want to pay attention to any areas that you see wear. As you use the gun, you'll start seeing areas where the bluing or whatever is starting to kind of wear off. So that's where you actually want to put the lubrication. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. So on here, you'll probably see it um, around here. And then you really want to get it where these slide rails are right here. And so if you have one of these, you can just take it and kind of do some light drips right here. If you don't have one of these lubricators, 
and you have the one that just does the drop, just put a drop on each end right there and then tilt the slide and let it run down. And that's pretty much all you need to do for the slide. If you got any wear up here, you could put some lubrication up there as well. The barrel, what I like to do is you'll usually see a lot of wear around here and then some points around here. So just kind of anywhere you see the wear, go ahead and put that lubrication. I'll just take a little bit there and rub it around the barrel. So you just want a light coating, nothing too thick. And then as far as the frame goes, not a whole lot of areas, but again, anywhere you see wear, you might see some right here. So just put like a drop right there and then maybe back here as well. But that's pretty much it on the frame. And then after all that is done, we're ready to go ahead and put it back together. So we're gonna take our slide and we're gonna take our barrel and we're just gonna drop that in there and lock it in place just like that. And we're gonna take our recoil spring and guide rod and this metal piece right here is actually gonna sit on a lip right there. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but there's a lip right there that you're gonna see. And we're just gonna insert it in like that. Gotta push it in a little bit. And then it should seat just like that. If it's crooked or anything, kind of fix it. You would definitely want it straight or else the slide's not gonna go back on the frame. All right, so now we're gonna take the slide and the frame and we're just gonna line everything up. And then we're gonna lock the slide to the rear. And now we're gonna take this takedown lever, flip it the other way, 90 degrees. And now we're just gonna release the slide. And then to work some of that lubrication that is in the slide rails, we're gonna go ahead and just rock the slide a few times. Kind of let that get worked in. And then I like to do a function test at this point. So I'll point the gun in a safe direction, pull the trigger. And then while I'm holding the trigger, I'll pull the slide back and then listen for that reset which we hear there, and you're good to go. And then just take the magazine, put it back in the gun, and you're good to go. And then go ahead and if there's any excess oil on the outside of the gun, go ahead and obviously wipe that off. And then one other thing I like to do is the silicone gun cloths that have a light coat of oil on them. Again, if I'm gonna be putting this in the safe and not shooting it for a while, uh, mostly some of my older guns with bluing and stuff like that, especially if there's wear areas, I'm gonna take this and there's just a light coat of oil on there and just kind of where the metal parts are, just go ahead and give it a nice little coating there. And then that'll take off the oil from your fingerprints and everything. And then that way, while it's being stored for a long period of time, over time, those oils of your hands and whatever else is on there isn't gonna cause the gun to rust. With this being new and a lot of these pistols like this, you don't have to worry about that. But that is something I like to do, especially on like my older CNR guns. I like to do that for those because I don't shoot those very often. So that's something I like to put on. So that's pretty much it. Pretty easy to clean and maintain these pistols. That's the good thing about the pistols nowadays is they're really easy to maintain yourself. Not a whole lot to them. It is kind of relaxing sometimes uh, to just clean guns. So if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button. And in the description below, like I said, I'll post a link to everything that you could still buy on Amazon. Uh, they're getting a little finicky with gun stuff, but you can still find some of this on there. Another good thing is like Midway USA or if there's an academy, um, a lot of the sporting goods stores do sell kits. So you can get a kit or you can buy the individual stuff depending on you know if you find one that you like. So pretty much all the gun cleaners do the same thing. I prefer Ballastol, but if you prefer something else like CLP, more power to you, it all does kind of the same thing. So again, if you wanna check out some more cleaning videos and field strips, go ahead and check out this playlist right here. But if you wanna see a couple comparison videos of the Hellcat to some other pistols, go ahead and check out these playlists up here as well.